Okay, um, Big Naz being given five weeks. Uh, come to you first, Stace. Your thoughts on this? Yeah, I actually thought it was a little bit harsh. I thought there was some, you know, if if you look at the the outcome, it's sort of like you hit a guy high he in the first sort of ten seconds, and that guy couldn't play, come back. And um, you know they had a massive impact on the game, but I did, yeah, I did feel there's some mitigating circumstances. I hope they could have got him off. Um, it always feels bad when you know suspensions happen, this and that. But if he's missing a grand final and potentially test matches, there's different levels of five weeks as opposed to you know we've seen people in the past use um, some of their suspensions on the the all-star game and things like yeah, that so yeah. I don't know if they could factor that in because a grand final that's worth a lot man and I feel for him because we'll probably do some previews on that grand final as well but you know the Storm they actually need Big Nas yeah. say if they're going to be if they're going to win um, and just for myself flying over I want to see a good quality <laughs> game and that means seeing all the best players there so I think from that perspective more than anything I want mm. him to be off but you can understand why why he got um, why he got suspended? So I guess it is what it is, really. The difficult one, uh, Bobby. You know, your thoughts on how it's played out? Yeah, I think he's just unlucky, to be honest. Um, but you know, like one of the comments I heard a commentator say last week was that he's he's played long enough um, in the NRL comp to to understand the difference in his height and everyone else. And so when he runs into contact... I think shoelaces to get their chest. Yeah, man, when he runs into contact, like, he really does need to actually bend his knees or something to get as low um, to the ground or as low as his other tacklers. Like, I think it was Gator that was in that tackle with him who managed to get Collins, like, almost around the waist. But it just, you know... Nelson is, you know, he's confrontational, he's physical, and it, it was just unfortunate. Like, it, it kind of looked like nothing, it just looked real, like, and yeah, yeah, just like a quick. <laughs> and I was like, was that chest then, sort of shoulder? Oh, uh, oh, was it? But then when Colin stood up and did the old Marty Bella, I, did the Marty I haven't Bella. seen. I haven't seen that since Marty uh, Bella. And he did the Marty Bella, bro. So I was thinking, oh, shit, he is gay, man. Yeah, and when he looked up and saw that he was facing his own players, he was just uh, shaking his head like, fuck. <laughs> I'm can cast, man. Yeah, and so, yeah, he it, that really did turn that game around. Like, despite being down a player um, for that 10-minute period when Nelson was off, like the Roosters, did, they just weren't able to capitalize on that, and you know it threw their whole game off. And you know, even with Nelson off, I was thinking, "Oh shit, this could this could be the opportunity the Roosters could use this," and it just never eventuated. And then as soon as he came back on, I think they even scored when he was off. So I was like, "Oh no, that was that that was the door closed, man," and they just. Did the old switch <laughs> with the cap, and they were gone. And yeah, the Roosters were just—they were just unable to sort of come back from losing one of their key forwards um, in that whole forward battle in that game. So yeah, it was unfortunate, but you know it is the grand final. He's going to miss out on it. But yeah, missing out on tests—that's going to be shit. That's pretty shit for the Kiwis. Um, but I mean that. NRL didn't really have a choice, to be honest. Like, a player's gotten up and played the ball the wrong way, and he looked yeah. concussed as he wasn't able to continue with the game. So, there was no way that the, the Storm were going to be able to argue him off getting suspended. I mean, he won't be the first one to miss a grand final through suspension. He's not the first, and he definitely won't be the last either. Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. Like, is there a way to allow. Because I guess in the situation, the Roosters are disadvantaged. Lindsay Collins is off for the rest of that game. Is there a better way of them doing it where Nelson's off for the whole of that game? So they both, you know, they're penalised in that game rather than penalised. Because it's always the problem of the, the team that's playing you aren't disadvantaged because they lose a player. Well, they, they're disadvantaged because they lose a player 
plus that player gets to play them for the rest of the game, and then they're punished the following week when it doesn't matter for the, the team that lost. Whereas if they take him out for the full game, and then it's kind of even Stevens, but then he's like, I don't know if they allow an exception that still, you know, he's done the wrong thing, but he gets to play in the final at least because he's kind of spent, he's, he's done the punishment and that, you know, he can't make a difference in that, that prelim. So it's kind of fair there, and whatever comes of it, comes of it. I don't know. Just feels like a harsh penalty, but yeah, I like they're saying, he's been there long enough to know that uh, that's the risk he runs. I heard they were trying to, they were thinking of um, trying different things around the lengths of suspension. I mean, sin binning time. Mm. Like, if it was if it was like that, where they lose a player, um, then it's like 20 minutes, or even like 40 minutes, or something, mm. like Real lengthy, um, yeah. I, I don't know. Like that. That just it does disadvantage your team. And then, what happens to the team the following week? You'd be like, "Nah, man, this nigga shouldn't be playing in our in our <laughs> final. He should have had his ass suspended for that grubby yeah, ass." Yeah, exactly. Play yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Panthers will be filthy. They're like, "Nah, nah, nah. We don't want those guys." Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, like far out, you miss out on such an epic battle um, mm. up front uh, between you know these guys and the the Panthers Ford Pack, who are probably you know they were all the Kiwi boys ready for whoever. Yeah, pretty much, it's just Kiwi boys bashing each other. All right. Um... 